winds of chaos blow strong from the Cicatrix Maledictum, the great rift that has rent the galaxy asunder. Forces that seek humanity's downfall flourish in the wake of the corrupted Sirocco that sweeps across the Emperor's Dominion. Two such forces collide on this doomed planet. Karn and his world leaders descend upon what they believe to be the devotees of the false Emperor of Mankind, only to realize they are in fact devotees of a far older, more terrifying deity. This is 40K in 40 Minutes. Welcome 40K fans to the first episode of 40K in 40 Minutes Season 3. Today we have our own Taunek bringing his Gene Stealer cultists? Yes, Gene Stealer cultists this time around to battle against a vicious world leaders list, the bearer of the mark of Dave, Dave from Mini Wargaming. This episode is brought to you by Deadly Print Studios. They are the makers of the muzzle flash and sword swooshes, as well as other really cool battle effects, which you've seen repeatedly on our studio armies, and which Nick has all over this army. They just launched a new Kickstarter aimed at some fantastic new effects revolving primarily around the ever-hungering Tyranids. These new battle effects are designed for xenomorphs and are 3D printable for almost any insectoid xenos miniature. The Kickstarter includes highly detailed files for FX for Tyranids, pre-supported and ready to use, decorative details for your bases, plus some amazing stretch goals. Make sure to see the link in the video description and to tell them that we sent you. We are extremely pleased to be playing this collaboration. In fact, you can check out yours truly, Playing vs. Dave, over on Mini Wargaming's channel right now. It's up! Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com and I am fighting with my world eaters today. This day of reckoning on the battlefield, swimming in the river of blood. Dave brings a plethora of berserkers to this matchup and should they close, Nick will be in real trouble. Backed up by two Mauler Fiends and a Hellbrute, as well as a Helldrake, Rhinos for his troopers, Dave's got a mobile force and he should be able to speed up the table and get it in Nick's face quick. Character support is key here though as that Juggernaut Lord, Aspiring Champion, and Karn the Betrayer himself are all prepared to jump in and wreck whatever Nick puts in front of them. I flew over here from Ontario, the other side of Canada land, and it was a lot of fun on the plane as I was thinking about who I was gonna fight while I was here. And I did not one time look at my codex to put in my brain all the information that I should need to fight for this battle because I thought to myself, Actually, I thought that you should really prepare. But I was just like watching a show and I got really distracted. My name is Nicholas and I'm here to play my Gene Stealer cult. They've come up from the shadows to take over this world. Those Ridge Runner lasers can do work, and a well placed demo charge launch from a squad of bikers is an almost assured vehicle kill. In support, Nick has got a mortar team, as well as a cult Lehman Russ, and some shenanigans to be sure with a Keller Morph, a Sanctus, a Nexos, 10 acolytes with hand flamers, as well as a rock grinder loaded with aberrants, led by an abominant ready to stop sign and mining hammer anything they touch into dust. One model that I'm really excited to play with today is my Goliath Rock Grinder. Just finished painting it just for this battle. I used a lot of Deadly Print Studios effects on it, a flamer and a gunshot and all sorts of stuff. It's a fun vehicle. I put a bunch of aberrants in it, I get up close, and I blow it up in their face. We've got Dave here in the house. <laughs> Um, I'm fanboying out a little bit. I first watched them back when I was first going to film school, and I think I probably failed a couple exams just because of watching too much mini wargaming. Yeah, I'm a little starstruck a little bit. Yeah, you're very kind with your words. You're distracting me. It's yes, a tactic. That's the whole point. Well, should we play some 40k? Let's play. Let's play 40k. Table halves have been decided here with our Nick on the right and Dave on the left. I think I'm gonna deploy un underground 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 the equivalent of deep strike Nick's placed his aberrants in the rock grinder and acolytes and kelomorph into deep strike reserve a lot of hiding happening a lot of hiding what what are you afraid of they're they're they're, they're sneaking they're okay sneaking to get different places and pop up I can respect sneaking they're sneaking mm -hmm. okay I'll, I'll make it easy I'm gonna start on the board nothing will hide nothing will be sneaky Ooh. all on the board yeah, I don't think corn is very sneaky he's just like Not run up and hit him right oh, he's run very blatant all right, so we got our secondaries. Um, I start with 12 CP. I'm gonna spend one um, at the beginning here to get an extra relic. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm placing relics on, I'm getting a Liberator Auto Pistol for my Kellermorph. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to put a Relic Sniper on my, my Sanctos. The players are playing Battle Lines today from the GT 2020 book. Four objectives are placed on the table in a classic Haber and Anvil deployment. Starting with their turn two command phase, players will score five primary points for holding one objective, five more for holding two objectives, and five more should they hold more than their opponent to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 per game. For secondaries, Dave has chosen engage at all fronts. He'll score points for having units in three or four table quarter. He's also chosen grind them down, scoring three points every turn that he kills more units than Nick does. Dave's also chosen the mission specific secondary vital ground. At the end of each of his command phases, he will score three victory points if he controls the objective marker in his opponent's deployment zone, and two victory points for each objective marker that he controls that is not in either player's deployment zone, to a maximum of seven victory points per turn, and of course, 15 points per secondary. Importantly, this secondary objective cannot be scored in the first battle round. Nick liked the sound of that seven victory points per turn so much that he too has chosen Vital Ground, and with such a fast interdiction force and so many potential deep strikes, he's also taken Engage at all fronts. Nick, however, has taken Bring It Down. He's going to score victory points for killing Dave's vehicles, of which he has a lot. I'm guessing the other Rhino is going to go right here. See, now, the, now I can't put him there. <laughs> this guy's gonna hide behind this little, uh, little statue. No hiding. The man with the plan? He's the one actually on the table and you're still hiding him. Yeah, well he doesn't need to be seen. He's got a radio. He just says, hey, go kill those guys over there. He's also nominated which units are gonna come up as blips. And those blips can be placed anywhere on the table. A great mechanic for an insurrectionist force to be sure. You know, I wasn't the one that made it impassable. Fate. Dude, how do you keep track of everything that's off the it's, table? It's tough. It's really it's tough. There's make, so many little things, blips and underground. And like, make it's, life easy. Have them all start on the one, board. One, two, three, four, five. Dave has deployed fairly aggressively. His list really wants to pin Nick in his zone as much as possible, as soon as possible. But should he go first, he's still not going to be able to encroach within 9 inches of those blips, and Nick won't have to pop up the units they represent until after Dave's first move. Not surprised, as he does tend toward a more defensive style of play. Let's see who gets first turn and gets stuck in. Oh! I have to go first. You do have to go first. That's interesting. It is interesting. It's very interesting, in fact. I think in this case, it's a good thing. Now, if I so choose, I can uh, do a first turn move in which I can move these guys right now. Round one goes to you. Turn one and Dave is going first. He's gonna gain a command point to go to 13. Dave is aware that Nick has a lot of deep striking character targeting available. So he's wisely chosen not to expose Karn. Mollerfiend right here is also going to advance forward. All right. Why do I have these dice? Do you want to switch? No! <laughs> He's also left his berserkers in their rolling bunkers, the rhinos, for that extra layer of protection. You're not a typical army. You're like messing with my brain. <laughs> uh, but I will go forward with that rhino because objective purposes. Trade rack. You see the movie Tremors? You are feeling like Tremors here? It feels with, like that right now. I don't like snakes. Heldrick! Uh, keep in mind, in the movement phase, you cannot move within nine inches of these blips. Why would you do that? So you wouldn't move within nine inches of the blips. In that blip there is very well placed. I must say, Mr. Nick. It was intentional. I'll pop smoke, and then I'll pop smoke, and then I'll pop smoke. I think I'm done moving. Now that Dave's movement phase is finished, it's time for Nick to reveal what those blips are. There's decent placement here from Nick with his units, and, and no real surprise, honestly. He's a solid player. Dave doesn't have a lot of range shooting, so I think Nick's gonna be okay. And look at this. That Jackal Alphys was a target and now is not, thanks to some sneaky units popping up in front. Nick has really neutered what little shooting Dave has here, and that should keep him pretty safe. Hal Drake in the shooting phase now. Okay. I'm going to fire at this squad. Of... Okay. Two wounds. Two wounds. There you go. Because of my rusted claw, I mean, I get plus one to my armor save, so I'm actually saving out of five. 
Save one. One bit it pretty hard. All right, well, that was a pretty uneventful turn, except for some weird popping up shenanigans. End of Dave's one with no score yet. Let's see what Nick has in his bag of tricks. Nick ticks up to 12 command points here. He's being forced to split around that big impassable piece at the top of his deployment zone and split his attack. I I'm not sure if that's the best idea here. All right, this unit is gonna... <laughs> this is really dumb. Oh! Do I command point reroll that at this point in the game? <laughs> that laugh makes me want to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's a dumb move. All right. I'm going to spend it, and I'm going to get a five right here. Here we go. Come on, advance roll. <laughs> oh, that is the exact opposite. Dave's army comes at you in waves, and the more wave breakers Nick can throw in front of him will definitely help to slow Dave's advance down. He's outfoxed himself a bit here by deploying his blips the way he did and moving and making it so that Dave was not able to close He's now out of position to shoot those mining lasers into the Helldrake. I'm sure he will take the Rhino as a secondary target, but that big bird is going to be on him next turn. This is something he was definitely trying to avoid. He's going to go do donuts. Okay, we'll call that. We'll call that a plan. All right, as we get the shooting phase, I'm going to elect this guy yes. to elect a target, okay. and that, t and then everyone within six inches, actually twelve, because it's her warlord trait. Uh, to we will do uh, get plus one to hit. Oh. And then next, I think we'll go to the mortars, and the mortars are going to fire at your cult. Over here. I like these dice. Two die. <laughs> next, we are going to fire this unit of acolytes into the Helldrake. Okay, right, so two mining lasers from here. We'll shoot into there. Okay. And a bunch of uh, auto guns into the Rhino. So instead, they're going to fire their last gun and their uh, heavy stubber into that same Rhino. Let's see if I can't pop that thing. I don't know about this move. Should Nick crack a Rhino, he may have been better off killing a Berserker or maybe even two with those shots. Only time's going to tell. Stubbers. Not safe! Wasn't quite enough to kill it. You have two wounds left of them. I just needed it to hit. Um, she can shoot. She, you know what? She's gonna fire at the rhino. Why not? Okay. Hits on a two. Wait, minus one, yeah? On a five. Hey, it wounds! Okay. All right, so five up. Okay, we're gonna get something good on these dice. You're gonna fail. <sighs> yes! It's a six! That said, the rhino's down, and that is a point to Nick. Now, do I explode? Explode! No. Nope. Oh, that wasn't great. Rolling 10 dice for the berserk. Could they all die? Uh, one will. One, okay. okay. I'll take it. I'll take one. Uh, How about two? Two actually die. Okay, that's better. All right, so we move on to here, which is an interesting play here. Yes. I have a great desire to kill this thing. A great desire. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's actually wiser for me not to damage that. Interesting choice to leave that rhino alone in the shooting phase and send his big guns into the Mauler Fiend. Dave has objective secured troops inside there, and that would actually steal the objective from Nick. However, I would expect him to charge it and wrap it up and make it more difficult for Dave to get out of it on his turn. All right, and then uh, do three shots from the mining laser. Three shots. Who would you once? Once. Six up! Six up! Oh! Six up! That sucks. That was my best chance. Well, I'm going to throw a demo charge from here to there because it's just killing it. Mm. So a demo charge and the um, heavy stubber. So heavy stubber. Wounds you twice. Respectable. One wound there, down to nine. There you go. And then the demo charge. One wound. Fix up save. No. D2 damage. We'll get a two here. Yep. I two. Okay, so I'm down to seven. And that's not too bad. I can live with that. All right, I'm going to shoot uh, the big cannon here. Might as well shoot it out at him. Uh, grinding advance, he moves less than half. He can shoot twice. Two D6 shots. Five, six, seven, eight. Five up. Made two. Two damage. Down to 10. I'll pop one shot at the juggernaut thing. That's not a juggernaut, that's a... Molar Fiend! Hit on a two. And a barely went in. Ah. Uh, strength four weapon. Plus one to wound. Counts at a five. So that's a five to wound at minus two. Five up. Not saved. D3 damage. Ah, just three. That's, that's too much, man. So uh, I guess that's the end of my phase. I don't really want to charge you, even though I want to charge you. Did he say no charges? He hasn't charged the Rhino. Oh, I think that is a big mistake here. Maybe a bit too defensive. It's not the Rhino you need to worry about, Nick. It's the Berserkers inside. 
All right. Oh, yes. Morale test. Okay, so these guys got to take morale test before you keep going there. Yes, I owe you a morale test on the cultist on a four, no, on a five or six. Ooh, Ooh I like that. That's a five. Oh, run, run, my little That's cultist. Too run. many dice. 18 dice I got to roll. So any ones here. Excellent. Removing. Run, my little cultist. Run. <gasps> oh, so many. Oh. Another six. Ooh. What's with these dice? End of a full turn, and we're off to an absolute barn burner here. Nick has scored one point for Bring It Down to make the end of turn one score one to nothing in his favor. Somehow, though, with all that's left to come in and that many chain axes still on the table, I feel we are about to see some serious score run up. Start of turn two, Dave ticks up to 14 command points to Nick's 11, and will score five primary for holding one objective and five more for holding two. He also holds one of the vital ground objectives for another two points, and that's gonna put him to 12 at the end of his command phase. All right, so now that we have the bookkeeping all out of the way, let's get to the movement phase. The movement phase. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. Very excited about this. Oh, I bet you're excited. Can you, can you feel the anticipation? I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Let's fight. Okay, so I'm gonna disembark a unit of Berserkers. Got, got one it. One of my five-man units. Got it. So I will go inside the terrain. As expected, Dave is disembarking a ton of Berserkers, but not all of them. He's kept Karn in the Rhino for one more turn. That's not a bad idea. I would like to move my Rhino back. Yeah, I'm gonna move him back like six. Very aggressive moves here from Dave. Not surprising, it's what he needs to do and what his list does really well. Uh, as expected, the Helldrake is in Nick's face. Yeah, but they will be in that corner for engage purposes. They will be, the Rhino's in this corner. These guys will be over here in this corner. Rhino's back there in this corner. I'm good for engage. Okay. Uh, they're back in this objective. You're not gonna bring uh, Juggernaut dude forward? I mean, I really want to, but you guys have things popping up, right? Okay, I'll just kill him. You have a... <gasps> you have your thing! I've got the Keller Morph! Oh! i got things coming in, man. Oh! I'm terrified of him. <laughs> I love it! Champion is looking to make a name for himself going after that Rock Grinder. I don't want to keep him in! <laughs> this is really a hard decision, because look, I can... You know what? Thank you for reminding me about the mini Billy the Kid who's gonna come out and just kill Karn if he's on the table. <laughs> he's staying inside this rhino until your guy comes out on the battlefield. <laughs> so Thank you. really, it's not Karn the Betrayer, it's Karn the Coward. Ooh, that rhyme. Oh, that poor Juggernaut Lord doesn't seem to know where to go. My rules are old, I'm a legend. What do I do? I'll run over here, I'll run over there. What do I do? <laughs> Still, Dave really doesn't need him right now, but he sure is one heck of a distraction for Nick. <laughs> okay, Heldrake is gonna fire now, into yeah. the shooting phase. Start of the shooting phase, and Nick is spending two command points on Lurkin Shadows to make those mortar teams untargetable unless they are the closest. That's gonna make Dave's encroaching Heldrake have to pick a different target than those juicy two wound mortar teams for his two wound auto cannon. Those are some shenanigans worthy of an Eldar player, Nick. Well done. It does take him down to nine command points, but I think that's definitely worth it. All right, I'm gonna target this unit of vehicles better because yep. you're more wounds. Yep. Hey! I think that's a save. Corn Berserkers throwing a frag grenade oh, into yeah. your acolytes, getting only one. So I'll hit you on a three and that's a miss. I will shoot you with my copy bolter. Four shots, my friend. Two wounds. <laughs> Uh, say what? One dies. Okay. Ah! All right, so that other rhino will combi bolter shoot into your bikes. Bikes. M bikes are minus one hit. Then I'll hit you on fours. Nothing. Uh, takes out a bike? Yep. Berserker squad number one. And two, actually. Both of them are going to throw crack grenades. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Right, come on. Nice, nice. That's a wound at minus one. Nope. Good. D3, though, this matters. Ooh. That kills the bike. Nope. I'm going to put it onto the quad. I think that's it for my shooting. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Multi melt. There you go. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going to shoot this bike yep. with my two shot multi melt. The original. Okay. It's two hits. You know what? Hold on. Oh. Maybe. I'm gonna command point reroll. Looks like Dave's spending a command point on a reroll, and that's gonna leave him with 13. 
Six. Oh, ouch. Only one wound from that multi melter, but six damage is a great result. Two wounds remaining. Dos. On to Korn's second favorite phase, the charge phase. I have to say, this is probably, out of all of the time I have spent here thus far, this is the most exciting time for me. This is when the Korn Berserkers are gonna charge in and destroy some stuff. I love life, let's do it, right there. <laughs> Korn Berserkers, into this Lehman Rust that's been looted. Now's the moment I've been waiting for. I'm gonna kill things with axes in close combat. Let's see some blood fly on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna charge the bikes too. Okay, wait, so. not gonna watch. Go for it. Getting an eight, because <gasps> Korn wants it. That's so Korn good. He wants it so bad. I'm assuming you'd like to try to like wrap all the way around. Okay, so what I want to do is come over this way so I tag your bikes. Yeah, so this is my second unit of Berserkers charging and getting an eight again. Wow, Whoa, Korn really on? wants this. All these eights on the charges, the number of Korn. What is happening? I feel the warmth overtaking me. It is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez, sorry, folks. I, I'm not sure what that was. I seem to have had a bit of a moment there. My apologies. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. I'll go with him first. Okay, okay, okay. Nick's gonna overwatch with the rock grinder with that heavy flamer, but doesn't get anything out of it, really. It takes him to eight command points and another eight. What is happening to our studio? I think the mark of Dave has descended. But you know what? I'm okay with this because now I'll charge him with this molar feet. Charge away. Yeah. <laughs> Lot of eights. I want to get eight again. Seven. So many charges made and failed here, but this is where Dave's list is designed to work. Hopefully, Nick can weather this onslaught. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and do that squad of corn berserkers into the bike. You just want to skip and take all the guys off? Really? <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> no. Okay. That's probably what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen. Two attacks base. This is for like a normal berserker. Yeah, yeah. Two attacks base. One for uh, hateful assault. One for world eaters. Yeah. Okay. And then we're doubling that. So eight. <laughs> per, and then per one guy. Per one guy. An additional one for the chain sword. Plus another one because he fights twice. So each dude has ten attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the age-old question. Can Berserkers kill a cult Lehman Russ? Well, by using Veterans of the Long War for a plus one to wound and Wild Fury for an extra AP1, those Berserkers could take down that Russ. It's gonna leave Dave with 11 command points on those two stratagems, and Nick manages to farm one, so he goes back up to nine. Hitting on threes. Wow, that is a lot of sixes. Okay. All right, so you've done... 19 wounds at minus two AP. That's, oh, I can maybe do this, okay. Yes, you could actually survive this. On five. Come on! Oh, this is really close. It's close. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 And wounds. you have 14? Let's check. It's 12 wounds! It's 12 wounds! It's 12 wounds! <laughs> what a fight phase. So many dice. And boom goes the Lehman Russ. Kaboom! <laughs> Out of the shadows we come. I'll go next with him. Okay. Okay. I'm spending a command point on Demon Forge. Three, six, nine. Yes. He has 10 wounds. Uh, I do get to um, get on a six uh, feel no pain. Uh, oh, six, okay. ignore damage. This is important. Ooh, I got three. Okay, that's a big deal. You negated one of my attacks. All right, so um, I have four wounds remaining. Okay, Lasher tendrils hitting on fours. Getting three wounds in total at minus two. Sixes. Uh-huh. And then sixes again for ignore damage. Right. Ooh, got one. Uh -huh. So I need one six out of four dice. You do. Here we go. Uh-huh. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Ah! The rock grinder live. That is absolutely huge. That means the aberrants inside will be able to get out and do some serious work. All right, well, next with my corn berserkers into your bikers. Go for it. 51 attacks. <laughs> Here's the first 20. All right. 12 so far. Okay. So 27. Not enough dice. 15, 16. First 20 out of 34. So. Why, why are we bothering doing this? I should just take them off. <laughs> You're gonna cut all this out anyway. 27 minus one. Why am I bothering? <laughs> because right. rolling dice is Here's fun. 20. It's on a five. Um, whoa. whoa. Okay, okay. One dead bike. Yes. Two dead bikes. Uh -huh. Well, they're all dead. Okay. <laughs> over. Now over here, the acolytes are going to get attacked. How many attacks do you get? Fifty-one. Take them off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they 
I've broken through the lines! It's three kills for Dave this turn towards grind them down, with Nick still to play his second, but he does score another three points for engage at all fronts to temporarily have our score at 15 to 1, with Nick still to play his second turn. Nick's turn two command phase, he goes up to 10 command points, same as Dave, and scores five primary, giving him six points in the game so far. That's a big turn potentially here, as he has a lot of units to come in, but the question becomes where to put them. Yeah, this is the scary part. I think I'll just stay in combat. Yeah. Um, the Aberrants, though, will get out. <laughs> These are your strong close combat guys. These are the strongest ones I have. The best chance I have of killing those Horn Berserkers. I don't usually get to do close combat, usually playing, usually playing Tau, so this will be fun. <laughs> All right, over here is Trouble. <laughs> and... Six inches over here. These guys are gonna fall back. Forming um repositioning here to get some shots off, and he's going to be digging into the Gene Stealer Cult Book of Tricks. He's spending two command points on lying in wait. That's gonna bring those hand flamers within range of Dave's home objective and should roast those cultists but good. That's gonna take Nick down to eight command points. <laughs> That's cool. See, now it's stuff like this that I love. Even though I'm probably gonna die. That just looks cool. They're, they're, they, they were hiding in these tra this train the entire time. Yes! You didn't see them! Makes sense! Ah, get them! <laughs> Through the shadows! Uh, it is so cinematic. That building right there. Top floor. Kellermorph is no joke, folks. He's a real threat, to be sure. <laughs> that That is sweet. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. And he's gonna shoot at the juggernaut there and kill him. He's spending another three command points here on perfect ambush to try to get those bikes D6 inches closer to the Helldrake to be able to demolition charge it into so much tainted scrap. I could charge if I wanted to, but you are not gonna be allowed to be able to charge because I have to throw demo grenades at you. Um, okay, everything's down. Down. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's kill some stuff. Are you all down now? Everything's on the table. That's okay. alive. All right. And we're everywhere. All right, um, he's gonna call um, that this is plus one to hit for everyone within 12 inches of him. <laughs> Let's kill some of these guys first. That seems like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flamers! I would like to shoot! Flamers! Are 10 you... D6 flamers. <laughs> Are you AP with your flamers? No. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> 10 D6 shots. Oh, oh, oh. Do you want me to roll that? Do you really want me to roll that? Uh, do you have? Do you have 80 dice? <laughs> I will take them away. Um, okay, uh, mortars. Now that we have a chance here, I want to stop them. So I'm gonna shoot these guys with the mortars. So three DC shots. Two no moves. AP. Two saves. Nice. And then he's gonna snipe. Uh. In the head. Hitting you on a two up. Ooh, not a wound. I'm gonna try to snipe off this guy right here. <laughs> Which one? I don't know, the one with the bloody axe. Okay, that's all of them. <laughs> yeah. Plus one to wound. Okay, so it doesn't wound. It doesn't wound. Wow, snipers are doing great. Another command point on extra explosives, so five models can throw a demo charge, and yet another on drive-by demolitions to make them wound and hit one better. That's gonna leave him with three command points, but it should pay off. So hitting on threes. Okay. Good roll. That is that's a good fan roll. Fantastic. Okay, so One, five two, up in one four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Nine, die! And your D3 damage. D3 damage. I'm looking for a lot of five pluses here. Yeah. A lot of ones, a lot of ones. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got six. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Dead, how many wounds you got left? Uh, nine wounds left. Nine wounds left, all right, I can do this. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 wounds. Do I explode on a six? Don't explode! Oh, oh, did you see the six? It came up for a split second. <laughs> now, this guy's freed up to make some shots. He is. So he's gonna fire everything into the guy. Right, to go. Straight ahead. How many shots? Hitting on fours. Nine. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's in combat. Oh, I can shoot into combat. Minus Minus one to hit though with a heavy. With the mining laser. So two shots. And <laughs> boons you with a mining laser at minus three. Minus three, okay. Six up save! Six up save! Nope. One guy is vaporized. One guy. All right, this guy can fire. He might as well fire everything into this thing right here. Yes. The 2d6 flamer. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's too many for yep. comfort. Three wounds. Four up saves for me. 
saved one of them. And then the stubbers. Hits you once. No, I don't hit you because that I'm bracketed down to one. All right, this needle pistol on the Primus. It's gonna fire into the corn berserkers that are right in front of them. Does D3 damage. Command point reroll. It's Dave's turn to spend a command point that's gonna take him to nine, but saving that Berserker is huge. Their objective secured and super important to Dave to holding that objective. That's worth a lot of points. Da, 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 da. Oh darn, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you used oh. the command oh, point. Oh darn, oh darn, why'd ah, I do that? Ha, ha, ha. Billy the Nid, the Keller Morph. <laughs> Billy the Nid, that kind of suits him with his double pistol stance. Liberator auto pistols, and then I have a relic pistol that has three shots. So, the Liberator Auto Pistols. Pistol hits you twice. Oof, more like Billy the Dud. Nick's gotta be disappointed with that. I gotta wonder if he would have been better off shooting at Berserkers with all those shots than trying to snipe out a character. Wow, what? Yeah, he whiffed it. Oh my he whiffed it hard. Goodness. Close combat. This is fun. Yeah. I get to charge stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> I am okay. Should I, should I target them all at once to make sure I kill one? Mm hmm Or mm -hmm. do I need to, should I spread it out? The thing is, if you interrupt, mm -hmm. you're killing whatever you interrupt mm -hmm. with. <laughs> so let's just kill one unit for sure. That's the wise choice. <laughs> Charges and good choice, Nick. One squad at a time. Turn those corn berserkers into cornmeal. Okay, um, that is all the charges I'm gonna do. Okay. Yep, so the aberrants charge into you. Do your worst. Oh, they're gonna come for you. Are these all of the attacks of the units? No, this is just one of the This one is the guy. one guy. This one guy. Hey, you get 51 attacks with four dudes. <laughs> I know, I was a little surprised. So minus one, four up saves. Save two, two die. All right, kill two. Four guys remaining, re-rolling ones. Come on. All right, minus three. <laughs> So a single six, a dude survives. I get a six. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Now, do I still get a pile in move? Do I? You not? get to pile in. So I could, I probably could still attack you. All right, charging in. Okay, so my big giant dude is gonna pile into here. All right, three attacks. Y'all wounds you twice. Uh huh. Um, at minus three. Okay, six up. Two sixes. Two sixes. <gasps> <gasps> That right there is the epitome of what 40K is to me. Cinematic moments where he does everything he can and just, just trying to punch him into the ground and he manages to save. Like, that is what 40K is. Like, ah. Wow, one berserker lives. But that's not all she wrote. Cause I do have the Primus. Well, hold on, I could interrupt here. You could. Dave is interrupting here for two command points and spending another on Veterans of the Long War to be able to wound one better. It's gonna take him to six command points, but look at this play. Not basing those models has cost Nick, as Dave has now locked out the Primus from being able to engage. Because so I, I need to be within one inch of the enemy model, not within one inch of another model that's within one, within one inch. Correct. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a one-on-one. -on -one. You like it? I like it. You like it, okay. All right, All right so starting with the uh, eight attacks. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Okay, so that's five so far. <laughs> I'll just, I'll roll the two uh, power sword attacks. Okay. Everything is AP one, so that's six wounds. Five ups because it's a minus one. Yeah. My cult trait. Okay, so you have now killed him. However, seriously. However, I have a five up ignore damage. Oh, that's see, that, there it is. I need to make one of these on a five up. Uh huh. All right. The Abominant has taken a ton of wounds here, but needs five ups to save, and he lives! With two wounds remaining, he lives! It's moments <laughs> like that that make this game amazing! Oh boy, okay, so he's taken three wounds. Wow. Oh, brutal. Okay. So cool. That was pretty cool. Oh. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'll go with the Mauler Fiend now. Yeah, I'm bracketed, so I'm down to three attacks. Oh. Three attacks, strength five. Okay, I've, I've, I've got something sneaky. Uh-oh. I've got something sneaky, but go ahead. Hitting on fours. Okay. One wound at minus three. Okay, um, that goes right through. He dies. Uh-huh. And now I spend one command point. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For him to kamikaze and he's like, bring it on, he presses the button. Boom! Everything within oh. six inches, which is your Mauler Fiend. Yes. My Aberrant. Yes. My Abominant. Yes. My Primus. Uh-huh. Your, um, Berserker. Your berserker and these berserkers oh. and my, and my <laughs> doom, doom buggy. Oh, oh. Of course, if you give Nick a chance to blow something up on purpose, he, he's gonna take it. 
down to one command point, but the Rock Rider goes BOOM! He puts two wounds on the Mauler Fiend, takes out his own Abominant, and Aberrant, three Berserkers behind him, but more importantly, the lone Berserker holding that objective, giving the objective to Nick. What a classic Nick move. His decisions aren't always the most tactically sound, but they sure are a lot of fun to watch. That's awesome! <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> that was a very eventful turn. Wow. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of my turn. I'm not going to do anything else. So, so yeah, you got one more test to make right here. Here we go. Okay, so minus four, so I need a five or a six, or I spend the two CP to auto pass. Yes, what do you want to do? It's a big choice. <sighs> I'm going to chance it. All, All right. right, here we go. He's fine. Oh. Awesome turn. That was amazing. <laughs> that was a fun turn. That was good. End of two scoring sees us at 18 to 11 in favor of Dave's world leaders, with six command points to Nick's one. Not the best turn for Nick. He needed to do more work, but a seven point gap in ninth edition is really no gap at all. Here comes turn three, and Korn wants blood. Command phase, Dave goes up to seven, scores two more for vital ground, but only five on primary. I am planning on stealing some things back. So let's go on to the movement phase. I'll move my corn berserkers over here. Say, I, like I'm in a little bit of trouble. Time for Karn the Betrayer to disembark from this rhino. Ugh. Yes, Jimmy the Nid will die. <laughs> so he goes there and then he goes here. Man, I, I feel for that Kelimorph. He's in some serious trouble here. Even though he's up in that ruin, 9th edition allows for a 5-inch vertical engagement range within an inch of the base. So if you want out of reach, you got to get way up there. They're definitely dogs. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a massive 100 dog. 100% dogs. 100%. Big hellhounds. Yep. Moving my... Exalted champion. Slowly working his way around the board to try to do something. Ever so slowly. Uh, yeah, let's move the rhino over here too. So he'll have to move around here. Okay, I've moved everything I'm gonna move. Now yeah. it's time to charge you. Charge! Nope, I'm gonna shoot you with a little bit oh. of shots that I have. I forgot. <laughs> okay, acolytes, toughness three, right? Yeah. Okay, frag grenade from the corn berserkers into them. Getting six shots, that's what we wanna see. <laughs> No wounds. Yeah. Hell brutes. Yeah, I am gonna shoot you. Okay, so two. That's a wound. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah see that. Lightning reflexes. He just dodges out of the way. He like sees it and he just like nods his head like this. And that's why we do that. Uh, this chaos lord on Juggernaut will shoot. He will shoot the charge. His oh, yeah. plasma pistol. That's a hit. Yeah. When you go on a two. That's a wound. Five up. Oh, the opposite. Okay, so this goes down by two. Karn. He's gonna, he always supercharges his plasma pistol. He hits, yes, and he wounds, that's a wound. All right, bye up. Oh yeah, Wow. dodges out of the way. He's just wow. dodging blasts all over the place. Matrix style. Too much. That's a pitfall, so he's going to commie bolter. I will commie bolter both rhinos. Yeah, 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 do it. Okay, hitting on threes. Wow, you know what, I'm getting all the bad rolls out of the way now. That's good, good, get him out of the way. Three, okay, threes to wound. That's three wounds. Okay, so on for fours then. One save. Two dead dudes. Two dead. Okay, bolt pistol from my exalt champion into your aberrants. And not a wound. And I think that's it for my shooting, because I don't have much in the way of shooting. And now That I'm... was the most shooting you've done this whole game. I think so. Yep. Um, I will charge both your aberrants and your uh, HQ. Come on in. Okay. Mm, 10. That's in. Oh, you want right that objective, there. don't you? Oh, yes. Okay. I wish I had another command point. Maybe I should charge you with the rhino. Yeah, I'm not gonna overwatch the rhino. Right, so I'll charge you with the rhino. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'll charge you with the molar Yeah, that makes sense. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> sort of table control. Like. <laughs> okay, Karn into your sniper. I mean, I could go like here on the second level and get you, right? Because he's definitely- Looks a little better. It does look better. Feels better Yeah. than, than yelling at you from the bottom floor. He can chop your feet. <laughs> uh, these corn berserkers into this unit. Not gonna overwatch there. Oh, my Lanta, here comes all the chain sword attack. I'm gonna charge your two vehicles. Okay. okay, no overwatch? No, unfortunately, it's not just not worth it. I fail right here because I declared both. Oh! Yeah, you know what? I'll spend a command point. And I want that command point. No. Five. Yeah! I got greedy. Oh, yes! Oh, oh. 
That's huge, man. Now you can shoot oh, at me. Yes. Oh, yes, please. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Here. That's okay. Okay. So I'll go first with uh, him. My Corn Berserker. Oh, the actually. Corn Berserker. Yeah. So three base, one for Hateful Assault, one for World Eaters. He's attacking twice. You cannot interrupt me. That's 10 regular attacks, plus an additional two for his chain sword. Okay. So 10, atta 10 attacks with one dude? Uh, yeah. That's insane. That is insane. So hitting on threes. <laughs> Five wounds thus far. One more wound, so six wounds at uh, minus one. So fives and then fives. That's too many saves. That saves, ooh, that saves four. Two go through, mm -hmm. and then I get to try to save those again. And one more. So one did die. One did die. Okay. You, got, you got one. I got one. You killed one. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that's a good call. Okay, well, I'm going to pile in and touch your base. Okay. I'll touch both your bases. So you can't move on me. Ooh. You are a character. I reroll hit rolls and wound rolls against you. So I'll attack you. Okay. You're rolling once. So. Okay, so three wounds. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you killed him. He's dead. Yeah, you killed him. Well done. <laughs> yeah, like I could have the aberrants jump in front of him, but the aberrants are honestly more important. Corn yes. Berserker's over here. How many attacks? 51 something freaking attacks. I'm gonna pile in and bring your vehicle in. See, I think that's dumb, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with making dumb decisions. I think he said something like six billion dice. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. What can men do against such reckless hate? Yeah, just take him off. Just take him off. Just closer to the objective. Karn over here will attack your. Knife. Come on in. Come on in. Two's to hit. Brick. Eleven wounds at minus four. <laughs> uh, just one damage each. D three each. Are you serious? Yes. That guy's crazy. He's nuts. Okay, so I gotta make pretty much all of these on five? Yeah. Mm. It was a valiant attempt. Wow, that's actually pretty high. You can't, okay. He's just gone, but you did it. He did He's it. gone. He almost pulled it off. And consolidate. Oh, this is not a good He'll drop turn. a level, drop a level and go here. Mollerfeed, into the flamers. Uh, why haven't you spent a command point? I, cause I don't want you to enter. You know what, I'll do it. No, you can still. You're gonna go anyway. So yes, <laughs> I'll spend a command point on Demon Forge. Give it to me. Oh. Yeah. No, it doesn't give it to me. That's my command points on a five. <laughs> Yours is on a six. Okay, so five attacks with his fists. Uh, winning on twos. Okay, so that's uh, three more at minus two. All right, um, all of those go through, they're five up. So guess what? They're all dead! Is that the rest? <laughs> <laughs> that would've been nice to fight with them. I'm going to hope that these two can kill him and that he can kill him. Oh, wow. I'm going to split the attacks. Okay. That's... Well, actually, all I need to do is kill him and I hold the objective, don't I? That's true. That seems more worth it, doesn't it? Absolutely. It doesn't seem as fun, though, right? No. You want to kill both. I want to kill both. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if I fail one of them, it's trouble. Uh-huh. Because I'm not objective secured and you are. I am. But if I kill both, then on my turn, I can go hunting for other stuff. You could. <laughs> I've got one command point for a reroll. Turn it! I'm doing it! <laughs> yes! Let's do it! Yes. Yep. Only twice. Only twice? Okay, alright. Do I command point that at this point? Well, you might get it back. Yep, let's command point it. Okay. Okay, I'm going down. Do I get it back? I don't. But do I hit at least? I do. You do. Yeah, I'm only four wounds. I gotta make like one of these. On a six? Mm hmm. Yeah! Oh, come on! <laughs> Come on! I got greedy! Oh. I got greedy! I saw oh. your face. I felt the nervousness in the oh. air. Oh. oh, that's that's rough. Alright, so these attacks now with the aberrants. They're a minus one hit, so they're only hit on fours. Mm. One. And that is rough. Mm -hmm. oh, I saw that one. <laughs> Alright, you need a six. I need a six, otherwise you take this. Yeah. Come on! Oh. I'm gonna command point reroll this. Ooh, this is the time to do it. Uh, do I get your command point? No. no. All right. I don't want you to take that. You will take the, the five victory points. And come on! Come on! Oh. Good. 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 All right. You can have him. He can go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, just the exalted champion there. Okay. Yes. Now, if I were to attack again, this would be the time to do it. He he can attack again. He can. Oh. I wish I could. Attack again. It's three command points. It's a lot. It's very expensive. I don't know if I want to do it. Five command 
points. He doesn't have enough. Like, he's got six attacks, right? Yeah. Hitting on twos, not re-rolling. Wounding you on threes, re-rolling. That I would have to roll perfectly in order for this to work, and you would have to fail everything. When's the next time we're gonna be in Vancouver? You convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> if I kill two, I take away five points. It is a big deal, right? Yes, it is a big deal. Do that's, it! That's the only do five it. points. Do it! Fine! Fine, I will do you it! You are chaos, Dave! You convinced me to it. spend my money! Looks like Dave is shooting the wad of command points here. Reroll to try to save his Zerker fails, but he's gonna fight again for three command points. Stoke the nails for one to drop him to one remaining, but he's done a ton of work here. Unfortunately, I don't get any sixes, but I didn't roll any ones. That's good six. and bad. Six hits. Okay. Wounding on threes. Okay, okay, okay. I need to make two five ups on five dice. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Yeah! I made three of them! Okay, so I kill one. Kill one! Kill one. That was four command points for one aberrant. It's totally worth it. It was. <laughs> so that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn. Mid three score, and Dave has put a ton of pressure on Nick. We are at 28 to 11 in Dave's favor. Can Nick answer back? Start of Nick's half of three, and he's got to pull some magic here. He goes up to two command points and finally gains two points for vital ground, but again, only five on primary. Lots of decisions in his movement phase here, but most of his stuff's tied up. That's not ideal. Target priority is so important here for sure. Um, in the game machine phase, uh, this person right here, she's going to declare um, this guy plus one to hit. Okay. And um, then I'll fire some uh, mining lasers at you. Sweet. And some heavy stubbers. So, some mining laser, D3 shots. Kicking on three. That's a wound. Five up in vault. D6 damage. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many wounds you got left? Five. Yeah, I'm gonna command point reroll there, unfortunately. And the damage is six. 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 Yeah. Do I Die. explode? Do I explode? Nope. Get out of there. Heavy stubbers. Three up. Safe. Then these guys are gonna fire. Can't these guys here. And because you're within half range, it will be straight four. Hang on fours. Four hits. And one wound. <laughs> yeah, I killed one with a shotgun. Yeah. And D6 shots from the heavy flamer. Uh, four shots. You know what? I'm going to command point reroll that. Ooh, good call. Good call. Made it. Oh, what are you down to command points? None. None. You're out. I'm Excellent. out. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, then a sniper is going to shoot at you. Come on, Cam. Five up. Saved. I'm gonna shoot this one at the Chrome as well. Hit another two. Oh, that's a six. So it's a mortal wound, plus it's a wound at minus two. Is it plus one to wound? Plus one to wound. Yes, because okay. it's a six. Five up. So two more. Excellent. Good job, Sniper. Pew, pew, two headshots, right in a row. Nick's done a really good job here of clearing out his zone to give himself some breathing room. Now here's the trick. I've got one more Ridge Runner here that could fire. Yes. I'd uh, like him to fire his laser here. I need to kill this guy. Because he's obsec. Yeah. Yes. I hope you shoot my rhino. I'm gonna shoot your rhino. Really? Yeah. Because if I can kill it, that's two points. Oh, right. So I'm gonna shoot my laser there and heavy stubbers here. How many shots of laser? I need three this time. I need three. Give me three. One. Yeah, freaking one. Yeah, that's too bad. <sighs> that's not enough because you have how many wounds left? I have seven. Yeah. I hit at least mm -hmm. and I wound at minus three. Okay, six up. Nope. D6 damage. <laughs> <laughs> not worth it. That was not worth it. All right, heavy steppers into the marine. I hit you four times. Okay, good start. Good start. That's a save. <sighs> I got greedy. Got greedy. I got greedy. I still got the mortars. Uh huh. And that's it. <laughs> so all the mortars into him? <laughs> I think I kind of have to. Yeah. Yeah. Point blank range, so they just like like angle them downwards. <laughs> they go straight up. Boom! <laughs> All right, three d six shots. Uh, Ten, eleven, twelve. That's too many. That's too much. It's fireworks. Ten. Wow! Whoa! Doing? Let's see. I don't know what this means. They all wound. Uh, shrink four. So three up saves. I need to make every single one of these. Yep. Don't do it. Yeah! Uh, 
<laughs> Get out of my deployment zone. <laughs> okay, okay, we're okay. getting somewhere. Okay, okay, I see. We're what getting you're somewhere. Getting yeah. somewhere. Took my objective back. Mm -hmm. Game's not over yet. No. Okay, so we move on to the fight phase. Okay, so that means I choose. Ah, that sucks. Yes. Because uh, you could potentially kill both. I could, yes. So, um, fair attacks. Okay, so you're gonna fight with these guys, this guy right here. For three wounds at minus two. Okay, so it goes right through. Yeah. Goes one damage each. Yeah. So on a five up for the ignore damage. <laughs> oh! 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 Yes! That is too many! Oh yeah, and now, let's kill you. Okay. Let's kill you. Do your worst. First of all, the aberrant hypermorph mm -hmm. will attack you, and he will get six dice. Two, four, six. He gets hit on threes. Threes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so he got two. That's all. That's okay. all, all right, I need. Right, right. That's all okay, I need because yeah. you've already taken some damage, haven't you? No, you haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> so wounding on twos. Two wounds at minus one. Okay. Both safe. Okay, but that's okay. That's okay because okay. the next guy is coming at you. Hit you on fours because it's a minus one to hit. Hits once. Oh, it's three damage each. Can't point reroll? I'm going to command point reroll that. This needs to be done because you only have four wounds. Correct. This is my best chance to kill you. 50 50 roll. Yeah. Ooh. Two hits. Two wounds. Come on, one six. I just need one six again. Yeah, uh, okay, fine. No! Oh, yeah! One six! <laughs> oh, come on! Get oh. out of here! <laughs> no, champion lives. Big mistake here from Nick. He does not score engage on all fronts. Oh no! Do you have anything in here? I have a, a whole unit. You have a whole another unit? Six. You have a whole. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Dave is going to get his grind them down points for killing more this turn, and that will make our score 31 to 20 in favor of Dave at the end of turn three. Neither player at present has any command points remaining. Dave gains a command point, scores 10 on primary, four vital ground points, and not a lot of work to do here beyond pinning Nick very deep. In the movement phase, I'll move these Berserkers so that they're in this quarter. I'll move my Hellbrute over so that I can get line of sight to your vehicle there. That's probably the move, because then I'll take it away from you. This is going to be overkill because he's got a power system there. <laughs> Wait, nothing for no one anywhere. There, he'll go for it. What's this all about? Let's, yep, let's do well. that. Might as well. Still in the quadrant, still yeah, in the yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. All right, now. Now into the shooting phase. You ready? So, multi melt from the health group. Yep. To your vehicle. Got it, got it. The only thing he really has to shoot with, and that eats his last command point, but it's so worth it, because boom goes the Ridge Runner. That's a big gun from Nick, out of commission, and this is starting to look a bit grim. Okay. These Corn Berserkers are going to charge the Aberrant. The Aberrants. That's in. So perfect. And then I'll just uh, go with them. Now they got, I'm gonna go with the- uh, Do we I'll... need to roll this? I'm okay not to. How many dice do you have? More than 51. Yeah, let's just take it off. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could interrupt or something, but I can't do anything like that. So I will consolidate closer to you. <laughs> Poor dudes. <laughs> and that's it, that's my turn. All right, all right. At the mid-turn, Dave's going to score Gage again, temporarily bringing him to 46 total points. This is going to be tough to do anything. Nick gets a command point and five primary, and that's all the command phase action he's got. Doesn't have much to move around here, but he needs to be smart. Prioritize and take out the target. That's all, that's all I got, really. What that's it. What to do? That's it. So uh, let's do what I can. Starting with the shooting phase. This guy is going to shoot and try to kill the commander. This is Delta Champion. Hits out of two. Hits. Hits. Command point. <sighs> I don't want to have to use a command point at this point No, it just feels like such a waste, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got to do it. That's a wound. Nope. Snipes his head. Um, so this guy is also going to snipe into the Corn Berserkers. Uh-huh. Uh, hitting out of two. That's a hit. Winning on a four. No. Nope. All the mortars. Oh, that's much worse. <laughs> 
Uh, hits you three times. And wounds you once. Once. Three up. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. Kills one. One mortar. Then we'll do all of this. All of this right here yes. into that. Yeah. I'm going to declare this guy. Uh, plus one to hit if you're targeting him. Mm -hmm. Shotguns. Shotguns. And threes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Three. Three wounds. And no minus. No minus, no minus. Three up saves. Come on, save these. One dies. No, I'll take it. And then D6 shots from the flamer. Six. Oh, six. It's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him. Right here. Four. Three minus one. Three? Yep, three minus one. One more dice. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hitting on fours. Will him down. It's gonna be down to close combat. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Except I can't charge you with these guys because they advance. <laughs> I'm gonna charge you with him. <laughs> okay. That's a dumb idea. I shouldn't do that. It's not, though. How epic would it be if you. Uh, poetic just, justice! Just, you kill me a close combat. I'm so frustrated with this stupid game! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still alive? This is all I've got left for shooting, really. Yeah, yeah. So if I charge in and don't do it, hitting on sixes, you've got a three up save. I do. Statistically, it's dumb. <laughs> not to mention, I could fail the charge dramatically, anyways. Still a seven inch charge. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's so good. I know. I know. It's 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 kind of like the one time I spent my four command points to kill one aberrant. So what do you? you know right. What? You know what? I should do it because otherwise you're gonna charge here and tie up both of them. Yep. And stop him. So yes, it's the best idea to charge. Mm. I'm gonna charge him. Okay. With a ridge runner, it's gonna run into your face. Uh huh. Here we go. That's a three and a six. You're good. in. Awesome. Bonk. <laughs> Are you gonna charge with the other one too? No! <laughs> <laughs> but it's such a good idea! No, it's a terrible it's idea! Insurance policy! I need to hit on sixes! Here we go! I got, a six. I got a hit! I got a six! Wounding on threes? Here we go! Yes! That's a wound, okay. Fail. 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 We're gonna make Fail. it! Fail! Make it! We made it! No! Oh. 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 <sighs> okay, so that's the only thing that charged, right? Kill him. Okay. <laughs> Just say it like that. It feels so sad. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna combine the shots. Eight with the power fist hitting on fours. Oh, power fist. Oh jeez. Okay. So that's six hits. Two's to wound. Uh, six wounds. All right. Six up. Uh, feel the pains. Wounds on this guy. No, no, it dies. No. It was a one in three chance though. You had to have done it. He's gonna force a couple kills here to guarantee his grind them down points as much as he can, but I don't think it's gonna matter much. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call the game there, folks. That's your final score with a late game runaway, 84 to 42 for your winner and first season three play on champion, Chaos Dave. Oh, that's a good game. <laughs> Well done, sir. Thank you for playing. Thank you the for having The very me. first game. Now, hold on. Wait oh, there. Oh, oh, something good's about to happen, and I can feel it. I would it. like to uh, present to you the very first of season three Ooh. Victor shirt. Thank you so much. I wanted this really bad. My victory shirt. Congratulations, sir. You are our first winner of season three. Thanks for watching, folks. A special thank you again to Deadly Print Studios and their new Battle FX Xenomorphs Kickstarter running now. Be sure to check them out and tell them Play On sent you. Thank you to our Nick and to Dave from Mini Wargaming for giving us a fantastically entertaining game. From all of us here at Play On Tabletop, that's it for us, folks. This is JT McDowell saying, Until the next time you see us in the grim dark universe of the far flung future, Play On!